Aloha and welcome to the Browser History Practice Wad number two. Um, and again, I'm using my cinema display. This is kind of an advertisement for cinema displays in some sense because they're a lot easier to work with. Um, but basically the reason why I'm doing it, I think it's easier for you to see how things work if you can see more windows at once. Um, so hopefully you'll be okay with this. We can, if you really don't like it, you want me to go back to um, doing these watch just on my laptop, I can, I can do that, but there's a lot more flipping back and forth. Okay, so let's see. Uh, prior to starting this watch, you may wish to bring up the Google Web Fonts reading it in a separate tab, so let's do that. Um, and uh, the reason is, is it's going to turn out that we're going to want to uh, you know, find this line right here in a little bit. But anyway, um, so let's start the timer. And we're going to create a branch off our local browser history repo master branch called CSS1. Okay, so the way we do that is we're going to go to uh, branches. Actually, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to commit. Um, Commit idea changes. I'm going to clean up my master branch so there's no um, there's no changed files in it before I create my branch off it. So that that way I can revert back and I'm going to have this. I'm not going to lose any state when I come back to this later. So this is generally kind of a good thing to do. Um, although it's you know kind of burning up 30 seconds. Anyway, okay, so now we've got that done. We'll go to branches and we'll create a branch and we're going to call this CSS1. So we'll create the branch and then um, this is now the current branch. So that's good. And obviously what we want to be able to do with this is allow you to try to do the WADs multiple times, saving each WAD each time in uh, a new branch. So if you want to do the WAD again, all you have to do is just go back to the master branch and then um, you know, and you do that by switching to the branch and then you could go off and, and that reverse the changes to where we started the WAD, but we're going to um, switch to this branch because we're doing this WAD. Okay, anyway, um, we're going to create a file called style.css to contain CSS styles. So we go over here, do a propeller n, Go down to style sheet and call it style.css. Sure, let's add it to git. Okay, now we got the style.css file. Um, and if we're, uh, what's it say now? If we're using live reload, enable it for this folder. So let's go to live reload and uh, add that folder. It's right here. Um, and then we're going to want to um, open the file. So if we go to Project Hope 613 Browser History, well, let's go up one Browser History and select that. Uh, oh, fill up. I'm sorry. Open file. Jesus. Okay, Project Open 613, browser history. Had like a little momentary problem here thinking what I'm doing. Okay, and then what I can do is I can um, enable um, live reload in the browser so that every time we make a change, we'll see it. So because I'm working with two files here, it's actually kind of nice to use to right click on the tab and go split horizontally so that we can see our index.html in one pane and style.css in the other pane. And the first thing I want to do is just kind of test to make sure that everything's good. And the way I'm going to uh, do that actually is to first in the, let's go back to the practice wad. Um, link our index.html to style.css so our CSS styles will apply to the HTML. And the way we do that is in the head, I'm going to say link um, rel equals style sheet and uh, href 
equals style.css. And you can see actually IntelliJ is trying to complete that for us. So we just have to, um, to uh, you know, just type return there. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, what, let's check to make sure that, it, that the style.css is actually working. And a fun way to do that is we can just say color colon red. And when we save it out, and we go to history of browsers, let's make this a new kind of thing down here. Okay, we can see that in fact um, our style sheet is working. Okay, so I change it to blue, hit save, and all of a sudden the, the browser is good. All right, so that's nice. That isn't actually what we're supposed to do for the WAD, but it does, you know, help us test to make sure that actually, you know, everything's being interpreted. Library load's working. We've got style.css, and actually when we make a change to style.css, we're actually changing um, the way the thing is displayed. So it's good to know that. Okay, so now create definitions in our style.css file and references in index.html to improve the presentation of your page as follows. The font for all headings should be Oswald. Okay, so to do that, we need to um, take this piece of code from here. So if you've been, you know, if you read through the whole thing, then um, what we need to do is uh, tell our page that um, we're going to use Google Fonts and we want the font for headings to be Oswald and the font for non heading text to be Open Sans. So we can first say Oswald and we can save that out. And then um, what we want to do is get rid of this color. Um, so it goes back to where it was. So let's say the headings, which we have an H1 and an H2, H2. And we want that to be font family. And then Oswald. And um, and then we probably want to have a um, a backup in case um, in case we can't find the Oswald font. You know, you're offline or something. Okay, so let's uh, save out that change. And now you can see, in fact, we've just changed our headings to be the Oswald font. So that's cool. The font for non-heading text should be Open Sans. Okay, so the way we do that is we say to uh, load multiple um, fonts, we want to say, we want to use the pipe symbol, and then we say Open plus Sans, um, which is the way you deal with spaces. And so to make Open Sans in the uh, for the rest of the text, we'll put in the body field, we'll say font family, and then we'll say open sans, and then we'll also have a sans serif uh, backup. So when we save this out, let's take a look, and there we've got that nice open sans font for the body. Okay, the font color should be dark blue. Okay, so to get there, that's pretty easy. We'll just say Oops. Color um, colon dark blue. Um, and save that out. And now you can see it's turned out to be we've got dark blue there. Top and bottom margins should be 10 pixels. Okay, so to do that, we got to use this margin. And margin has this. Uh, top, left, right, bottom, top, bottom, left, right. Um, and so the way we would specify that is 10 pixels, 50 pixels, 10 pixels, um, and 50 pixels. So that gets the left and right to be 50 pixels, and the top and bottom to be 10 pixels. So if we save this out, we can see, okay, we've got our nice little top margin of a little bit, and there's 50 pixels against the left and right. 
Now the background color is supposed to be ivory. So we'll do background color, ivory. And we save that out, and now it's turned to ivory. And the logo should be in line with the text. Okay, so it's the way we're gonna do that, you have to fiddle around a little bit maybe to figure this out, but you're gonna say float, uh, left, and if we save it out, then we see that in fact all of a sudden they're they're in line. So that's all nice. Um, but what I actually don't like is you see how it kind of goes right against the, the text. It'd be nice to have a little bit of space there. So just to kind of, you know, make things look a little bit better, let's put a 10 pixel margin there by the logos. And you can see now they're moved out a little bit. And it just looks a little better, in, in my humble opinion. OK, so now commit your branch to GitHub and check to see that it's there. So we go back to uh, GitHub. And we're saying um, committing, well, let's just say finished browser history to. So we'll come in and sync. Um, and we should also just kind of check to make sure it looks the same as, as the example. And of course it does. Um, and we're going to stop the timer uh, at this point because uh, we're basically all, oh, we got to check to see that it's a GitHub. So let's go to browse, let's go view, go view on GitHub. And what we can see is that we've got um, two branches now. We've got CSS1 and master. Master looks the way it did before, but if we go to the CSS branch, CSS1 branch, now you can see we've got this style.css in there. Okay, So this is going to be something we're going to be doing basically for the remainder of the semester is creating branches every time we want to do a um, a, uh, a wad, particularly when we have these incremental wads where we're building up something, um, you know, step by step, and that enables you to very easily go back to the way things were before, um, so that you can do them over or you know, check your changes, whatever you need. All right, there you have browser history too. Hope you like it.